What, what's going on here? <gasps> uh, nothing, all oh my, nothing at all. <sighs> Are you sure? Um, you see who does have more of that mess and he just told you that he didn't, so you wouldn't have the heroes have access to it as well as villains. Manetta. He's a born hero. I'm surprised you lied to him. You you lied. I technically didn't lie. What, what would you call that? I didn't have any on me. You see, what comes to that mess, and I had to procure it. What? I had to cultivate it myself. Oh, are there, are they in limited supply? Like, do you not have that many of them? <sighs> no, I'm going to be completely honest. All right. No joke. Yeah. I have an underground supply of the stuff. What? Yeah. So what you're saying, you have how many of these? Enough so this whole school will be able to cure any physical injury. You want want boost of energy? Eat one one of these beans. And then poof, it's like you have no fatigue whatsoever. You can fight until the, you know, the sun comes up and beyond. As long as you have at least one to replace your energy. <laughs> and what about other, well, it depends, like, how long the, air, the injury was. Because, say you got your arm cut off, but then a sensu bean. That's what they're called. Whatever. <clears throat> You'll be able to regrow that arm. But, if it's already been cauterized or anything, like it, the injury you sustained, you took the bean, yeah, it would help you recover from fatigue or any newer injuries, but that arm is not coming back since you waited too long to actually ingest it. You won't believe how many times I've had my arm cut off. What? Nothing. <coughs> this medicine you cultivate, it seems like it would... Why wouldn't you... Weren't you listening? Uh, half and half. I'll think of it like this. Say... Heroes do have access to this. Say that hero loses their supply or don't get to it in time. Okay. 
a villain finds it and realizes, wow, this medicine is extraordinary. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. That would mean, yeah. Though they possibly, hopefully, God, be kind to me, wouldn't be able to manufacture this, they would want to know how a hero, or at least heroes in general, had access to it, which would mean they would start going after heroes specifically, not killing them or just bringing them down. They would interrogate them and learn where they're getting this from. I have thought about this for so long, ever since I gave you the bean, so. Wow, and that was, wow, you've had a lot of time to think about this. Yeah, you have no idea how many times I actually wanted to share this throughout the world. I mean, the applications for medical purposes alone. I mean, psychiatrists or, you know, disease doctors would probably be the only ones required. Like, imagine you not having to get a cast. Just pop a bean and boom, healed. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, you know the truth. But, okay. I. Wow. Just, just wow. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I'm sorry I couldn't tell you. It's just about that. I am very, you know, cautious. Interesting. Okay, so I guess uh, there, everything's been dealt with. Well, at least we know, know about the resource that you have at your disposal. Oh my, what's wrong? Why are you all jittery? Uh, no reason! Uh, it's just... How many of these do you have? A lot. Good to know! Wow, I... This is a lot to drop on somebody who was just going to tell you about the test, but damn! I... I really didn't expect any of this. Yeah, it's it's fine. I I understand. I mean, seriously, I know. Can you imagine? Yeah, I have many times. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Uh, what? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. You have another secret, don't you? Of course not! Is there something else besides those sensu beans that you are not telling us? No! He's lying. Shut up! Ugh. Look. I will let you guys know about it once it becomes a true risk for you not to know. You're serious? Yes. I can't believe this. You have no idea the weight that is on my shoulders for keeping these secrets. Wait, there's more than just the one you're not telling us and the sensor beans? How do you stop talking? I'm starting to be like my old self. Um, that's right. You were talking about a a test. Which yeah, you just talk about that whole them versus a the teacher's test. Which is like, are you sure? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll we'll be restrained, of course, especially me. Like, oh, no, 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 you're gonna want to take off those weights. What? <laughs> as much training as I've been able to do, it's gonna be the only way you can get out of there alive. <laughs> you're gonna have to go all out. Really? Oh yeah, you have no idea how many years I've trained. Well, considering where I first met you, uh, oh, oh, yeah, right, 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 yeah, you're right, you're right. I have trained exactly that long. Why does it feel like you're? This is one of your secrets. Don't worry about it. Let's just get this fight over with. Which everything else does end up being how. Is in canon. Plus the fact that Izuku does give them sentient beans after the fights are done, so they can rejuvenate. It's him and Bakugo versus All Might. When things really start to pile up, Bakugo, he's humble, but pissed, arrogant. But he knows, like, yeah. I can't really, I know how strong I am, I don't know how strong you are now, but one thing's for certain, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need your, excuse me, what, I'm gonna need your, what, I'm gonna need your, spare <laughs> out, what is it? I'm going to need your help. One more time. Don't push it. I need your help. <laughs> you have no idea. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Here's the plan. You run off while I fight all night. What? You'll just be in my way. What are you trying to say? I really didn't want to say this. Not until at least we were pro heroes. What? You can't keep up with me. You can't match my speed. You can't match my strength. You cannot match my endurance or my durability. I exceed in all those categories. My analytical mind, you have no counter or equal to. I, I, uh, I'm sorry for you to learn this now in the middle of a test, but that's it. Arrogant son of a bitch. It's not because I'm arrogant. I'm just that strong now. And I'm still nowhere near as powerful as my masters. What? Trust me when I say this. Just go to the exit. And I'll take care of this myself. As Zugu flies off and goes off to face All Might. Bakugo flying through his explosions right next to him. He's like, what's that you said about me not being able to keep up? Izuku just dashes away. Bakugo, he's shocked at the sun changing speed. He's like, what the hell? He was pacing himself or something? Well, he can't possibly keep this up for long. I'm trying to catch up, but he can't. One of his explosions actually fractures his arm to the point where he can no longer maintain his altitude. So, he's grounded. Because of the fight between Izuku and All Might, 
Ezekiel is having the time of his life right now while All Might is shocked and also this is one of the best fights he's been in where he knows they're not going to go too far to a point where one is close to death. It's a kind of like a bare knuckle brawl though Izuku could use his key based attacks or huh, speed based because of uh, you know and huh, after images and whatnot. Yeah, All Might is pretty much are you as strong as yes I am and I can keep going in fact, I want to show you something special. Them backing up from each other, and Izuku starts to run. First, there are two of him. Then there are four. Then eight. Sixteen. Thirty-two. As All Might is shocked at this, because Izuku is moving so fast that there are after images of him and he has surrounded All Might. In All Might, okay, I've seen something like this before. Considering how fast you're going, chances are the real you is as in the all move. Uh, wait a minute. How are they? Yes. They start moving independently of each other, meaning that one can I like is about to punch all my while the other one's kicking, and Zuku's going so fast that so this is a barrage, a flurry of punches, kicks, strikes, gut punches. Yeah, Zuku is effectively putting it on my against the. Against the rope. He has them on the ropes, pretty much. Because each and every punch is equivalent to one of All Might's strongest. Not to the point where it's the United States of Smash, but just enough so it was like, what the hell? It's like I'm fighting myself multiple times. But this one's faster. And, yeah. Everyone. As you can imagine, is shocked to see this. They're wondering what kind of hellish training did he go through? Bakugo, finally, after so long of him, honest to God, walking and running towards the fight, he's shocked to see this. Him wondering how strong is Izuku now? What did he go through to get this kind of power? As All Might is on his knees, unable to fight back. As until he hears a, a clank and wait, wait, what? Hey, there, I win. What? Did you just? I wait. When I get handcuffed? <laughs> what? No! 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 You gotta be kidding me! You just... Uh huh. So all that was just... Oh no! I was fighting you seriously. To the point where I kind of forgot that yeah, this is a test and we have a time limit, and you know, you got to be kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can admit why I'm beaten. Admit? Of course you've been beaten. Don't get cocky. You're right. I should get overconfident when it comes to you. Right. That's right. Bargo? As you can imagine, he's dumbfounded. He has no real words besides how. 
He's looking back and he's like, I thought I told you to head towards the exit. I, uh, I, I, I didn't, I, I wanted, you wanted to what? Try to help? No need. Well, despite your foolish, I do mean that, foolish choices, I still won. Uh, okay, now I can leave. Is yeah. Ball goes speechless. All Might is somewhat satisfied with how the fight's gone, but also shot to how strong Izuku is. When it comes to the whole fact that yeah, everyone saw All Might lose to a student, they're also wondering how strong is Izuku Madoya. Only thing is, Izuku won't tell them the specifics of his training, let alone what he did in his internship. But when they are at the mall in which they do get prepared for the whole forest training, Izuku does end up running into Shigaraki. The only thing is, when Shigaraki threatens to dust him, Izuku is like, do you really think you can? Shigaraki about to decay just a piece of his neck just to show them that yeah I'm serious not to mention how many people I could kill while the whole heroes are supposed to show up he can't move he can't move a centimeter for some reason but then he notices this green energy start to envelop him and it's trapping him. <sighs> now, what do you want? <laughs> Look, you're my hostage right now. I'd rather not kill you, but I will if I have to. <sighs> How are you? Trust me. I am not the one you want to mess with. Not now. So, it's true. What? That medicine? What about it? That's what you used. At least, that's what he used, isn't it? And you have more, don't you? Start making sense. How do you know about my medicine? <laughs> Sorry, but this should be the end of our little chat. What as Izuku is shot, well, he gets sucker punched by another Nomu, losing his grip on Shigaraki. Shigaraki leaves in a portal while. Anomu steps out of it. Pretty much keeping Yuzuku busy so he can't really focus on Shigaraki or Kodagiri. And you can imagine, Yuzuku is very upset. And since now he does know the weakness of Anomu is killing it through its brain's destruction. He does not hesitate to completely obliterate it. As, yeah, everyone is wondering what just happened. Oraka does show up in which she's like, Are you okay? What happened? This might be more serious than I previously thought. Um... What do you mean? 
and later on know soon enough first things first we need to we need to go as yes Izuku does let it be known that some way somehow Shigaraki and possibly whoever was backing him or whatever knows about his medicine now All Might is shocked to hear this as he lets it be known about all for one now he's a goop pissed to hear about this bastard but of course yeah him, he knows enough already so <laughs> everyone looking like okay so what else did you want to tell us like <sighs> We're not going to a forest training arc. What? I mean, we're not doing the forest training with uh, Pitsy Bop and Madeley or anyone else. Why? Because chances are we have a mole here. What? Yeah. It seems as though there's someone or something spying on us. From UA and whatever. You're saying it's a traitor? Yes. I'm surprised you guys haven't thought of it ever since the whole, I don't know, USJ attack. I've been looking into it, but I can't find out who it is or how they're doing it. So it must be a quirk or something. But one thing's for certain. Just in case you guys are going to have to go through some real training. What? You guys are going to need to speed run through this whole training thing. I'm talking about a year's worth of training in one day at least. <sighs> but we don't really have time for that now do we? We don't have... Wait. I am just speaking of thing. This is another one of your secrets, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> of course it is. Of course. That's how you got so strong. All these years. Yeah. Up until now, you guys thought I probably had like what? Ten years or so of training. Y yes, I've been training for hundreds of years. What? Yep. I mean, if I actually looked my my presumed age, I'd be older than all of you, including this all for one guy. What? Yeah, I would technically be older than all of you. You see, as he does relay, at least him mean Corin and Dende aspect the whole the whole thing. You gotta be kidding me! Yep. Oh, because of my kind nature, and luckily because of my intuitive skills at such a young age, I uh, procured not only a facility to cultivate the sensu beans, but also a facility in which I could train for seemingly to you guys on the outside. It'd be one day but for me. It was, honest to God, a year. Uh, so, yeah. I've done a lot of rigorous training. Uh, I can't believe this. Bakugo, he walks right up to Izuku and says, you got to be kidding. You've been training that long 
Yeah. Him picking him up by his shirt. Like, where are you get off being all arrogant at me saying I can't because you can't? <sighs> Do you really think you can stand up to me? I can break your arms right now without using a smidgen of energy. And I could turn your bones to powder if I do. Uh, uh, now, inform Pixie Bob and the rest of the Wild Wild Pussycats. They're probably going to want to get on, on this train too. Why you think of it like this? A year's worth of training is going to come in real handy if I'm even a smidgen right about this awful one person in my thoughts. You really think he's that dangerous? I do. And I don't want to take any chances of him catching me with my pants down. Not again. I sure as hell don't know how he could have. Him getting a flashback to when he first saw Shigaraki and took on Nomu. I thought I destroyed all the sins of beans while I blew up the bag, but he put one in his pocket. He took one. That's how. What? <sighs> Ugh, that's how he realized that it was medicine, medicine. Damn it! Uh, what are you talking about? Remember what I said about him learning about the medicine somehow? Yeah, apparently during the USJ attack, he did get his hands on one, but luckily it was only one. I destroyed the rest. Obliterated, well, turned it into nothing but ash. Whew. So, that's a plus. So, what do you really want us to do? Gather up everyone. Every hero that's not on duty, too. It's time for them to uh, level up. As yes, Izuku, he does open the doors to his facilities, which all the heroes in present, they're shocked just to see the magnitude of this cave system in which Izuku does pride himself in what he's done. It's just the fact that, kid, are you saying that you, yeah, Pretty much, land development was part of my training. <laughs> you have no idea how hard it is for a kid to shape stone with his bare hands. Well, I did learn a bit of key by then, but still. <sighs> so, are those the... Yeah, that's the, those are the greenhouses. And that? That's the place where we're going to be training. Yeah. If anything, it has been modified to the point where it could allow an army. Really? Yeah. The only thing I can't change is that one day equals one year. Oh, yeah, I can change the gravity, I can make it as cold as it needs to be, as hot as it needs to be. <sighs> Believe me, I can make your training a living hell if I want. But, uh, then they I'm going to need you guys to, you know, power through it. 
I see Louis right at Buckle goes, I'm giving you guys a chance to at least catch up. So, you guys ready to train? As for the first day of their training, well, year, I guess, everyone has at least three sensor beans to use only for emergencies. If you're tired, don't use one. If you got a little scrape and bruises, don't use it. If your arm is broken or but somehow ends up being separated from your body, definitely use it. He was very explicit in those instructions. Some of the lesser heroes decided not to heed his warnings, and when they did ask for more sensor beans, Izuku kindly but sternly said no. So yeah, they had to be extra careful because that arm gets lobbed off again. There ain't no sense of being to save them this time. Because the, the class is being trained, everyone is still somewhat bitter for that Izuku had something like this, but would share it from the get-go. But he, as well as the other heroes, do express how dangerous, or at least how crucial something like this could be when, you know, you need it. Being able to train for a year, but it only being a day? Seriously, who wouldn't want such a thing? Could you imagine the martial artists that would have formed the potential of heroes the court mastery and yes this did allow a lot of lesser known heroes to actually you know, evolve their quirks and Kosa Araka she doesn't even have to really touch anything for it to float what I mean by that is she uses the air itself to condense her to something else. The air is everywhere. So, she's touching that. She can technically control anything. Hell, she can change the gravity itself quite easily now. If anything, when it comes to Gakure, they do see her face. Shoji? He can turn himself into a somewhat kaiju-like being. Maera is able to make shields out of his stick, out of his quirk. Momo, the able supply of food, as well as Izuku's direct supervision. Allows her to fully utilize her lipids to a point where she uses less of them to create more elaborate things. Even giving her some ideas like, I never played video games or re read that much manga and whatnot, but I wonder if I could make any of that stuff. When it comes to Mina, yeah. So no, she has a lot more control over her acid than she thought. As long as it's not too far away from her, she can control the acidity, the trajectory, as well as, you know, <laughs> pretty much the range of its effectiveness. Does she want you to feel a slight tingle, or does she want your skin to melt off of your bones into a disgusting pearly mess. One who seems to be most rejective of the whole training isn't Todoroki or Sugar Rush or 
Oh, or Ojiro. It's Bakugo. He's rejecting the fact that not only is he too weak to at least fight with Izuku or against him, not only is he not Izuku's equal, let alone rival, but he's being taught by the guy he belittled for years. Someone who humbled him. Someone who's way ahead of him when it comes to being a pro hero. That stings deep into his spirit. And though Izuku knows, like, Kasuke, we have to get you stronger. He lashes out. I think it's not fair that he's had all of this and the sheer audacity he has to criticize anybody Ugh. what are you trying to say you haven't easy you've been playing on easy mode this whole time Really? That's what you think? Yeah. <laughs> really? Okay. You really think I've had it easy? Considering how strong you are with such little effort. Little effort. Is that what you... Is that really what you think? Okay. Hey, everybody. You know what? Let's take a break. I actually have a little movie. A little visual entertainment to show you guys. And I definitely want you there, Buck ago. As everyone gathers and sees Izuku's pissed but also feels the murderous presence that is Bakugo Katsuki is everyone wondering okay so what's this movie about it's about my struggles what, um, what are you talking about Izuku pushing a button and they see the hell he's gone through. Him having to survive a frozen tundra for months, then be near, or at least close enough to an active volcano like terrain. The gravity was multiplied to the point where his bones were practically jelly just from walking from the bathroom to the kitchen. His arm getting ripped off, only being saved by a single sensu bean. Everyone is horrified at this gruesome act. Bakugo, his eyes are about to pop out of his skull, seeing that what the hell did he happen? And everyone then notices, wait, what's with the other lack of scars then? That's one of the best things about sensu beans. They make it so you don't get any as long as you eat one fast enough. But I'm yeah, just grasping his arm. I still have to experience the pain. Yeah. I survived a lot in this room just to get to where I am now. Luckily, you guys don't have to. <sighs> so, when was this? Recently. What? Oh, yeah. Before this. 
for the League of Villains. I had it pretty easy, I guess. Despite the fact that I was alone whenever my masters were here. Training. Testing my limits. Gaining my permanent scars. Yeah. It wasn't easy. I just wanted to be a hero. I knew it wasn't going to be a cakewalk at all. I just wanted to be one. Like All Might. Well, like any hero, <laughs> to be completely honest. But I knew it wasn't going to be easy. I knew I had to work my ass off. In fact, him removing his shirt is everyone is looking at the scar she does really have as well as how defined his muscles really are like wait they weren't like that yeah a slight body manipulation thing I learned I made myself look more chunky that really was. As then, he's like, well, if you don't believe me, shoot me. What? Ugh, who am I kidding? Snipe? Uh, what? Shoot me. What? You heard me. Shoot me. Why? Just shoot me. But I don't. Fine, give me your gun and I'll do it. Uh, no! Thank you. As. Like, wait, when did you. Izuku shoots his stomach point blank range five times. Him just brushing it off like it's nothing. Uh, I. How. That is how dense my skin is. The whole. My muscle fibers, my entire being has been ripped, dismantled, torn to shreds, and pieced back together. And, yeah, it's just how I've been doing things up until now, all alone. So, you can just imagine why I would keep this a secret. Because I didn't want anyone, I do mean anyone with ill intentions to be here. I couldn't risk it. I mean, if I did allow anyone to train here, the odds of someone not so benevolent getting access to this uh, uh, yeah I we we I don't don't worry about it just I don't know you need you need a break what you need to relax kid I mean yeah you you're strong enough if anything if you were a pro hero do your arrests and whatnot you'd be number one already Excuse me. Oh, come on. You know what I mean. All my use. Do you know how strong this kid is? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do. Exactly. Hmm. Thanks. Uh. 
Mr. Hisuku. Where is it? I am. I have something to. As an explosion is heard, and Izuku rushes out of the hyperbot time chamber to see that, yeah, the League of Villains is here! In which, there is no Dobby. Mr. Compress, well, let's say he is there. But, one the main issue is muscular is there. As well as a bunch of just no name villains in which, yeah. He's always looking around and it's like, how did they get in here? Based with the fact that he's kind of like. The Sensu beans. As yes, they are being thrown into the portals. Izuku having no choice but to. Pretty much deal with the villains. Then, as you can imagine, the heroes, the students, they show up and see what's happening. Let's say there is somewhat of a small army of villains, which as soon as they do see the heroes, they just collect their spoils and just leave. Izuku capturing as many as he can, muscular being one of them. As he does want an explanation to how is this possible. <laughs> oh man, what the hell? How did you... We can worry about that later. First things first, how did you know where we were? A little birdie told us. How did you know about the sensu beans? A fly on the wall. Is he applying more pressure? Muscular is like, uh, can you can you lower? My back is very tense. Is he about to kill muscular? Is then Koda starts crying. Uh, wait. Why is there a kid here? As he walks right up to Muscular and Izuku, you're the one that killed my parents. Uh, uh huh? Wait, <laughs> you're going to be more specific. I kill a lot of people. He's in my line of work. Is yeah, go raises up his hands and blasts muscular with water. Muscular realizing who this kid this is. You, you're their kid, huh? The ones who took my eye from me, so I took their lives. What? As yeah, muscular starts bragging. Laughing, taunting Koda, Koda falling down to his knees, yelling at him to stop laughing, to shut up. Izuku is noticeably getting more and more irritated with Muscular's antics, to the point where he just raises his hand and pretty much obliterates Muscular's head. Is then. Izuku looks upon what's left of the Sensu Beans. There's barely any left. They've been there long enough to almost strip the whole greenhouse, or at least multiple greenhouses, dry. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Zuku falls to his knees, wondering why, how, how could they possibly have known we were here? How could they have gotten in? I made sure that the traitor. It's one of you. As he starts looking at the heroes up and down, they're way, way what? Excuse me? 
Are you insinuating? Oh yes, I am. I, I, the insinuations are real. How else could they get here? I. Okay, we don't know, but one thing for sure, it couldn't have been us. Really? Then who else could have told them? They must have a spying quirk or something. No, no, no. There are no cameras. Except for one place. As, yeah, Izuku. He goes to his handy dandy computer and checks the security footage. In which he sees Ayama putting a wedge between the door. As well as a nifty little blinking device. Huh, I don't know about you guys, but this looks like a beacon to me. And then they know that Ayama is gone. Izuku, as you can imagine, is pissed beyond belief. It's bad enough that they know about them. It's bad enough that they were... They actually had gotten the sense of beings, but the fact that one of his classmates betrayed them really strikes a nerve. This is a real betrayal towards Izuku and the rest. Much to the point where he's considering hunting down Ayama and killing him with the utmost brutality that can only be seen in such movies and media such as Final Destination, God of War, or, you know, other gruesomer forms of media. Who knows, I'll let you use your imagination. So, he does contact Trunks and Corin, and which as soon as they do show up after hearing what Izuku had to say, yeah, they scored the hell out of him for letting other people in. But also, the heroes and the students, they come to his defense, saying how important such a facility is for every hero to be able to use. But it's like, yeah, but look what happened as soon as he lets someone in. Someone else. Besides the usual us. Pretty much a rookie move for a time patroller. <clears throat> a what? <sighs> Screw it, they know enough already. <sighs> time patroller. We go throughout the timeline, or at least theirs. You can have multiple different, you know, timelines or universes in which something isn't right and it needs to be fixed. Things like that. Either time travelers? Yes. And you, you're one of them. One of the newest recruits, yeah. So, what you're saying is that you go back in time, forward and backwards to... Yep. If anything, it's just... You know, it's no big deal. You call time traveling, fixing the timeline, pretending it... Nothing. How desensitized are you? Well, it's a someone's got to do the job, so I get that. But to call it nothing like that, it's just, huh? Right. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> either way. Yeah, that's pretty much 
all she wrote. I just... This is very unexpected. Trust me, I know. <sighs> first things first, when it comes to the whole sensor beans being stolen, luckily I do have enough, hopefully for the rest of you guys, but I gotta prepare. Uh, prepare for what? What else? As many as they have. We st as many. <sighs> sensor bases they've taken. Oh. Yeah. Just as are, they're preparing for war. That means we do too. Uh, listen, Izuku, we could help. No. No, no, no. This is my problem. My world. My timeline to protect. Besides, you guys can destroy planets. Nothing I need for you to solve all my problems. <laughs> 